What's up, everybody? It's your girl T from Adventures of Spirits, and welcome to day day seven of Spirit. I had to keep track. <laughs> day seven of Spiritness, and today I'm coming to you with a tasting review. And today we will be tasting Kentucky Tavern. So, just so you know, Kentucky Tavern was actually is actually one of my um, budget bourbon, um, one of my budget bourbon bottles. And it's a brand new um, bottle, as you can see. And so I'm curious to see what it tastes like. Um, because like I told you, not all bourbon has to cost $60 or more, okay? Or $40 or more. You can get a good bourbon for under 20 bucks. And this budget bourbon was under 20 bucks. Matter of fact, it was under $18. I believe it was $15.99, if I remember correctly. But this Kentucky Tavern, um, you know, has a has a big brother, should I say. This one is a special reserve bourbon. It's made in Owenstown, Owenstown or Owensboro, Owensboro, Kentucky. Um, and it is actually owned by Sazerac. And Sazerac still produces it to this day. So just so you'll know, this may be a budget bourbon. And as I said before, a lot of the budget bourbons are usually owned by the bigger bourbon companies. And the juice is the same. Um, I'm looking here. The proof is, is 80 proof. So it's not a high proof um, bourbon. And let me see any additional information here. Nope, Owensboro, Kentucky, and um, owned by Sazerac. So this one here says it's a special reserve. So let's see how much of, how, how special this is supposed to be. So the look of it is a little lighter than usual. Usually I'm used to a little darker bourbon, but let's go ahead and try with the nose. I'm getting the same notes you would with any other bourbon. Um, however, usually what I do notice with some of the special reserves, they do smell a little sweeter, um, especially with because they're aged a little longer. So the the of the other special reserve I tried was five years. Um, Kentucky Tavern is aged eight years. So um, usually the longer it ages the more of a sweet note that you'll smell and sometimes you'll taste, not all the time, but um, definitely telling me this age very well. Yeah. You get your caramel and your brown sugar, your toffee. This one I smell a little of honey. Um, and in addition, maybe a little nut, um, more of a, a almond, if you will. Almond or pecan? Almond, small almond. So let's go ahead and try the palette, shall we? It hits you a little bold, believe it or not, even though it's 80 proof. Now, when I say hit me bold, I'm talking about in terms of flavor flavor, not the warmth. In terms of warmth, um, it's 80 proof, um, what a normal 80 proof would be, um, but it's, it's, it's tolerable. It's not, you know, too hot, too warm for those who can't tolerate it. Um, you really won't need um, um, any drops of water or anything in there. And I like to make that known because a lot of people shy away from the bourbons and they look at the proofs and they don't want to try it because they feel like, oh, it just burns. Well, you can stop the burn and it actually will just deliver just the flavor of the bourbon if you just drop a couple of um, drops of water in there. Um, the flavor is pretty much the same. However, for some reason, it's very strange to me. I actually taste... I can't get the name of it. It'll come to me. Let me continue, but it will come to me. Um, in terms of uh, the texture, the texture is like a creamy texture. So 
So it's, I would say medium to heavy body. Well, not heavy body. I would say medium body. Um, and it, it, it just coats your tongue and it delivers all of the flavor that is supposed banana. I taste banana for some reason. I taste banana. Don't know why I do. Um, not when you first bite into the banana, but like that aftertaste of the banana. That's what I taste. Um, so it, it actually is um, very good. Now, in terms of the finish, that's why I was sort of delaying. Um, I'm trying to see how long the flavor lasts. Um, it actually um, is it's not as it's not a short finish, but it's not a long finish either. So I would say a medium finish. It lasts long enough for you to enjoy it. Um, and then also want to sip again. <laughs> definitely, definitely. This is this is a, a pretty darn good um, bourbon for it to be under eighteen dollars. I could tell you that much. I would definitely put it on my bar, and I can tell you um, if you did a blind test with someone. Who drinks bourbon? Who puts their nose in the air to say, "Oh, it is is if, if it costs a certain amount." No, trust me. And you know what? I just might do that. I might be doing some blind soon. Um, but I can tell you, this is definitely something to put on your bar. Very reasonable. Even the person who drinks bourbon, yeah, they, they they'll know that whether it tastes good or not. But they're not going to know that it, whatever it is, unless they're you know. Samo, yeah, you know, and they just know it like that, you know, blindfold them and they can just tell you exactly what it is. Um, however, definitely something to have on the bar. Very low price. You give it to the person that's just starting out um, and you don't have to worry about wasting your $100 bottle or your $80 bottle or your $60 bottle. You know, they're going to get the same result. It doesn't matter, but very good, Kentucky Tavern. You 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 had me fooled. Had me fooled. I did not think that it was gonna come out to actually taste like this. It's actually pretty good. Pretty good. All right, Kentucky Tavern. Well, with that said, thank you all um, um, for joining me with um, today's spirit mist tasting. And uh, if you have not already, please hit that thumbs up, hit that like button. And in addition, please leave a comment. I know some people are looking in the bushes. You're looking in the bushes. You're just quiet back there. You just saw the topic and you said, oh, let me click on it. Look, it's short. It's only eight minutes. You probably didn't even get an ad yet. So just go ahead, hit that like button. And if you haven't, hit the subscribe button. Therefore, you can get a little more of these, um, a little more of these videos for you with some other um, bottles for you to try in addition to cocktails, which will also occur during Spiritmas, okay? Um, if you also would like to become a spirit member, please do so. You can look it and download in my description and it will um, give you your link, the link to my um, membership and it'll let you know what the perks are and getting samples in reference to um, what I taste, you will be getting those samples. So with that said, you all have a good spiritness and I will see you on the next day. See ya. Let's have a toast for the real ones. Let's have a toast for the real ones. Let's have a toast for the real ones. Let's have a toast for the real Let's have a toast for the real ones. Have a toast for the real Let's have a toast for the real ones. Have a toast for the real They don't baptize the bad guy. So don't follow the bitch. The fab is not average. The cotton's Egyptian. 500 for the shoes come dirty, but the European. Less is more, and less is the bank. Up the score, I pull up from Trey. From the tray, I'm ballin' like Trey. Do what I can, I do what you can. I wrote this 30,000 feet up. Ten toes, stay g up. I'm tryna get that type of wealth like a house on the hills. Can't see us. Say the money still need up.